I love this. Welcome so we back. Show it off. This is a classic jumbo puzzle, the type of game and cartoon that you'd see every day in the local newspaper. Today, the creators are going to create a large version of this live in our studio. It's so cool. This is really great. We're going to end up with an original Milwaukee themed jumble that's handmade, brand new, and the authors will autograph it. Then we're going to give it away to one of you lucky viewers. That's so cool. It's morning blend so cool. themed. I love this. My mom and I always used to race each other with the <laughs> newspaper who could get the jumble puzzle done first. So please welcome David L. Hoyt, the word puzzle author, along with Jeff Kanurik. He is the cartoonist, both known all over the country for their popular puzzles. Pre people are probably much more familiar with your work yes. than your yes. face. Oh, yeah. You're not oh, recognizable yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe <laughs> on the street. This is so fun. I love it. Let's talk about first of all what's new with Jumble because you've got a new app. Yes, we have a new uh, Just Jumble app and it's Jumble's 60th anniversary. Oh, wow. So obviously we did not create it originally. Yeah. Uh, or, or we look really good for our We're living well. <laughs> <laughs> living clean life. <laughs> Where's that wine? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bring on the wine. <laughs> the anti-aging properties. Okay, if there's anyone out there who doesn't know what Jumble is, explain it. Yeah. Uh, it's the most popular um, word puzzle in the world. And the way it works is you have uh, words that you unscramble or letters that you unscramble to make words. And you have a punny answer. And Jeff does an amazing job with the cartoon, and which is a clue to the answer. I mean, it's you know that's the fast version it's of what so, it is. It's so fun. And with the app, so that we can walk through it and explain it, basically, mm -hmm. we have some pictures okay. that kind of help us. Yep. So start off with what we see there. So that's the, the opening screen. You press play. Okay. And, and then the next here. one. The next one is, so there's, there's one. I that, love that. The, the answer to that one is, mm -hmm. I believe that is the, Alta? the, the conceited... Um, Minister or whatever, uh, he had an alter ego, as in mm -hmm. alter. It, you know, okay. Spelled, spelled like alter. Okay. Okay. To, uh, I love it. And yes. then we have one more picture, I think, in this series to kind of help demonstrate. Because then yes. this is when you give a hint. Yes, exactly. So, okay. if, so if you're stumped, Jeff and I will come out. This is a David hint, but one of us will pop out onto the screen. Is that and you? That, yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's funny. the hair. How's you know? How's you know? <laughs> and, She's uh, smart like that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we pop out onto the screen, and then we disappear from the screen and we leave that hint. That's and a great picture yeah. of you. That, well, thank you. Jeff. Yeah. Way to go, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff is amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff is amazing. And one, one thing, we've, we've become characters in the jumble, and, and this one we're doing for you right now, we not only have David and myself, but we have the two of you in this in this jumble that uh, no I'll, I'll finish while we're talking and maybe off air if we okay, have Okay, yeah, and our producer should let us know if there's a certain angle we should have yeah, on that so people can show. see uh, it, because yeah, we want to make sure that people yeah, can yeah, see it. Yeah, if you can get it uh, while he's okay, showing there. it. Yeah, okay. if you turn like that, I think that might be perfect. Oh, look at you, working it out for the camera. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so he's drawing um, the two of us into yeah. it. Okay, I love yeah. that. And you're drawing it in a pen. No mistakes. No, no. I have I have it penciled okay. here, and then I just do the ink. And it's similar how I do it at home. And where I, I do the pencil drawings first, I put a nice piece of paper over it and do a light table. And then once it's inked, I put it in the computer, do the dialogue and the clue that we use, and send it to Dave, and he formats now, it. Now, I heard that you draw a lot at swim meets. You must have kids who are I, swimmers. I have. I breathe more chlorine sometimes than <laughs> oxygen. So, <laughs> so I'm in the stands drawing, the, you know, catching up, doing the pencils, while people are next to me actually doing the paper. Uh -huh. And I, I, you get some looks over, like, what is he doing? What's up and with that? Luckily, the swim, my fellow swim parents finally know what I do for a living. Right, and, and, right. It's kind of know. a giveaway. When so, you're... I believe me, they always come to me, what was the answer the other day? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I have to know what happens when you guys have writer's block. I mean, you have to crank this stuff I, out. We really don't get writer's block, and the reason why is... Um, I like to get all my ideas uh, like just from walking around and talking to people. So if I'm in a restaurant or coffee shop, I'm you know listening. Is that a jumble? Is that a jumble? So it's hard to get writer's block because you know we're I'm in Chicago. Chicago is a big place with a lot of people, and all I have to do is go down the street, and you know an idea will will be presented to me by the by the people around me. I want you to do one soon on squirrels because I know when you're oh, outside, you're friends with squirrels. When yes. you're doing your work outside, the weather's nice enough. So I know you're outside in yes. your yard now doing it, and I I hate squirrels, and oh. so I want you to do one that <laughs> hates like, a is, strong word. You've been told yeah. not to oh, use I, the word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the humane society said don't say hate, but I don't like squirrels. So why don't you do one about squirrels? All How about right. that? Okay, um, we we have done one about squirrels. <laughs> it, was a, it was a good one. About okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, I think there's so many people who watch, you know, especially as you're cartooning and think, oh, I'm really good at drawing. You know, what if I could have done cartoons? How does somebody become a cartoonist? It, it's a very convoluted way. I didn't start off as a cartoonist. I started off as a toy inventor. 
And oh. so I was, a, but cartooning was always the way I got into art. And so after meeting Dave, Dave gave me the opportunity to get into the jumble world because he knocked on Tribune's door and we did everything but this classic jumble. And when it came time for my predecessor, Henry Arnold, who was 90 when he retired, and he had, did, he had drawn the cartoon for 48 years before me, uh, I luckily was in the right place at the right time wow. and had proved myself to Tribune to take over the job. And now Dave and I are working together on it. And this That's is so awesome. Yeah. Okay, we only have a minute left, okay. so I'm yep. kind of looking at this backwards. Oh. I can already tell that first word is wheel. Okay. Right? All right. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, because I was well, looking give, at that. Let's give you the, let's do the when the jumble creators talked about jumble on TV with Molly and Tiffany, it was. And it's maybe maybe you don't need the words to solve it. It was the too, best day of their life. Uh, <laughs> too, many, too many letters. It was. It's, oh it's going to be gonna tricky. Think, without think the of you're in kindergarten, and, what you do in, when you come in, to in kindergarten with your favorite show and tell. Show and tell. You're the show, yeah. and we're the. Ah, I love it. That's well, awesome. There's extra clues in there because in the dialogue we give you little subtle hints, like we're not using the word tell, we're using the word speak or you know discuss. And there's so if you if you analyze it after, you'll see that it was all right there for you to solve. Oh, that is yeah. so cool. And what's great about what you're doing is that somebody's going to win that and be yeah, able to so frame we'll, it. We'll finish inking it and we'll throw in some dialogue for. for for you, you can say whatever you want to say on it. When you guys autograph that, that's worth over five hundred dollars. That's what I've heard. Dollars. A million, yeah, it's at priceless. Least. <laughs> at it's least. priceless. Yeah. I love it. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about the app and let people yes. know that you can find mm -hmm. Just Jumble. It's a brand new app, and it's available at the Nook Store, Apple Store, Google Play Store, as well as Amazon App Store. You can go to JustJumble.com. That's where you can go to find out more about it. Now, this giant one-of-a-kind jumble puzzle that they're doing right before you here today is going to be available to caller number seven as soon as he's done inking it. You can call us at 414-799-4444 to win it, and we want to then see a picture of it framed in your house, like in your front room somewhere. <laughs> Guaranteed your mom is on the phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to win that. She's trying to win it. Thanks, you guys. That was so neat. Well, thanks for having us. It was awesome. Thank I love having you, you guys much. here. Thank Great. you Come back so much.